So, you going? I am. Yes. Everyone in Prague is trying to get out. My son is trying to get in. Did you speak to Martin? I did. Uh, turns out he's not going to be there. He's escorting some refugees out of the country and then he's heading back home to London. Nikki. Look, I have to do something. It is, I mean, you of all people should understand that. Isn't that what you taught me? Well, I, I can't just sit here reading about it. These people need help. I was never in doubt that the cause was just. Only whether Prague is safe. It's only a week. That is a scene from the new film entitled One Life, highlighting the true story of Sir Nicholas Winton, also known as the British Schindler. In the late 1930s, Winton helped secure the rescue of hundreds of children, many of them Jewish, from Czechoslovakia in a race against time before the Nazi occupation closed the borders. Joining us now are two of the film's stars, actresses, Helena Bonham Carter and Ramala Gary. It's good to have you both, and I should let you both know that I, I feel a connection with this already. My mother uh, was the great-grandniece of Edward Benish, and she fled Czechoslovakia to England, where she stayed in an orphanage for a year and ate nuts. <laughs> so uh, we begin knowing oh, that. Yeah, is amazing. That, you say your grandmother? That's my I'm mother. A, as a little mother, girl. You would, not, you would not be here for it was for without Nicholas Winton. Well, tell us about the story and what drew you to creating this. Do you want to go for, first, Rom? Or shall I? <laughs> oh, well, th uh, thank you. Yes, it was uh, an incredible privileged to be um, invited to be part of telling this story. Uh, Sir Nicholas Winton is quite a well-known figure in Britain. I don't know if that's the same in America, but he was an incredibly modest man who never really sought attention for um, the contribution that he made towards saving the lives of these hundreds and hundreds of children. Um, but towards the end of his life, he was sort of forcibly outed on um, a chat show, uh, That's Life which is sort of British institution um, and he was um, and that's really what the film dramatizes the the uh, tremendous effort of him and his his colleagues um, to rescue hundreds of children in the sort of ticking time bomb before the beginning of the war and then also his reluctance really to kind of seek uh, attention um, for the for those efforts at the at the end of his life. Helena, think, now the same question yeah. to you, and also uh, explain the relationships that play out. Well, for me, it was a no-brainer. I think Romola might agree with me that sometimes, you know, to some jobs, uh, you are an R, but this was, it's the story and um, the character. And he's such an extraordinary man. He's like an everyday hero. And I think such an example. And, and... Um, an inspiration to any of us who feel somewhat impotent when mm. um, in the midst of chaos, of world chaos. Um, I had my own sort of relationship in the sense, uh, similar to you, that my, my grandfather had was a similar um, helper of helping Jewish lives. So I felt it was sort of in my DNA, plus the fact I'd worked with James Hawes Hopkins, and I just think it's an extraordinary story from which we can all uh, gain inspiration in a time when it's quite, when we're all um, somewhat in the dark as to how to do and how can we help. And I love his example of he's saying there's good, different kinds of goodness. There's passive goodness and there's active goodness. And he said, you know, that I really, mm, the, the relationships, you know, I, are, are, I think it's sorry, also that thing of passive goodness and active goodness and as his, he said in his opinion the giving of your time and energy and the alleviation of pain is what is it defines active goodness um i'm i i was asked to play um his mum and uh uh i thought it was intriguing i've never seen such an effective and an efficient mother-son relationship and uh in which babby was um of german extraction and Jewish um, and 
I also come from that similar background. Having said that, it, it's important to say that Winton saved them from a point of humanity, and he was somebody who identified as, in fact, agnostic, although of Jewish extraction. So, to and it's thank you for handling this two. delay. Uh, yeah, Helena, thank you. I'm very sorry that we have this delay that has us talking over each other. And I just want to chime in with a question for both of you that might lead to what you were about to say anyway. Um, I'll also add that my uh, grandfather on my father's side um, helped a lot of Polish Jews receive passports and escape. So I'm, I'm seeing this from so many different angles. And my question is to both of you. And Helena, we'll start with you, and then Ramala, you can pick it up from there. What do you hope, beyond the incredible storytelling here and the incredible acting and the relationships and the characters, what do you hope the audience will take away from seeing this? Helena. From what I gather, and it's been a very, um, the, the film's been really very well received here keep on getting lots and lots of responses of people feeling very, very moved and feeling that it's exactly what they've needed because um, they've come out with a sense of empowerment and a sense of feeling that they can, every single individual, whoever they are. And it's and it's to be stressed that Winton was a stockbroker. He was an ordinary. He was an everyman. And if he can save and get up and do all that he did, it has the power to all of us, I feel. I think uh, it's a, me a message of hope and, compa and compassion and humanity in a, in a time where we're feeling quite a lot of intolerance, to say the least. Mm. What do you think, Mom? Yeah, I completely agree. I think, you know, I have a lot of friends and family who've seen the film and, you know, you you don't always have people message you afterwards or, you know, or they don't say anything at all because they haven't liked it. And everyone that in my life has been so incredibly moved by the film. And I think that's because particularly right now, it's easy to forget that human beings can be incredible, selfless, uh, modest, entirely uh, giving of themselves and, and incredibly brave given the opportunity to do and be so and it's a true testament to what is best about human beings at a time when i think we really need that we need we need to be reminded of of what human beings do and can achieve without seeking any acknowledgement for it and i and i think it's an incredibly life affirming and op optimistic film for those reasons Absolutely wonderful. One Life opens in theaters nationwide this Friday, March 15th. Helena Bottom Carter and Ramala Gary, thank you both very much for coming on the show this morning. We appreciate it and congratulations.